With setup and testing out of the way, it's time to install some cable. We put a lot of thought into designing the Gulfstream to be extremely simple to operate with user-friendly controls that you will have mastered in no time. Let's see it in action. Now that we've performed the crash test with our sample piece of fiber and a sample piece of ducts, we're ready to do some cable installation with the Gulfstream 200. Now we've removed our sample piece of fiber and duct and we're ready to set up for actual installation. First thing we're going to want to do is in the 10 millimeter duct pack kit, there's some O-ring seals. Uh, we'll take two of these O-ring seals and we're going to want to install them on the end of our conduit. Now we use two O-rings to create that airtight seal. Now that we've properly installed the seals onto our conduit, we're going to want to install our cable seal onto our fiber. We've got the four millimeter seal for our four millimeter fiber. We're just going to slide that on to the fiber. We're going to want to make sure that the cone is pointing in the direction that we're going to be installing. Next, we're going to install the bottom half of our duct pack into our air block. So with the bottom half of our duct pack in our air block, we can raise up our tracks, we slide it through the cable entrance guide, and we can feed our fiber optic cable into the Gulfstream 200 and properly seat the seal into the duct pack. Next, with our O-rings properly installed on the end of our conduit, we're going to bring that into the duct packs. We'll bring it all together with the top half and secure it all within the air block. Now we want to tighten down until the two halves of the duct pack have made contact. That way we ensure we have a proper seal. Next, we're going to want to connect our air hose from the compressor to our Gulfstream 200. Now, finally, we need to recall our clamp force down pressure setting and our push force setting that we established in our crash test. So, with our speed all the way down, we engage the drive and forward and slowly increase our speed. All right, so we're gonna wanna push some in, maybe like 30, 30 meters plus, before we start uh, actually engaging the air. We want to get a good amount of fiber into the conduit before we engage any air. All right, so our installation speed has slowed from 50 meters per minute down to about 35 meters per minute. We're at about 50 meters. It's time to introduce some air. Now I'm just gonna introduce about 40 PSI, or what is that? That's about two or three bar. And it picks the speed back up now. We're running about 40, 45 meters per minute again. Now we're at about 100 meters and we've dropped back down to about 35 meters per minute. We're going to increase that PSI. Now I've increased the PSI to about 80 and we're back up to about 45, 50 meters per minute again. Now we keep gradually increasing the air pressure as needed when the speed of our installation has slowed. So we're approaching the end of our kilometer run here and we're about 30 meters per minute, 27 meters per minute, so it slowed down some. We're running about 180 PSI. And we're done. So we disengage the tractor drive, shut off the air, and that's installation with the Gulfstream 200. A quick note about lubricants. Uh, if you're wondering whether or not to use it in your installation, say you're working with multiple bends or a larger ID duct, or you're trying to achieve greater distances, uh, that's the type of application you'd want to use lubricant for. Conex offers a wide range of oil-based lubricants for your fiber blowing, but as always, consult your fiber or duct manufacturer for their recommendation on your specific application.